A couple of weeks ago, we have discussed the character of the early administration in Judah. It was introduced in the final quarter of the 8th century BCE, when Judah became an Assyrian vassal kingdom. It was based on the new economic and ad administrative policies that became operative in Judah during this period. In this unit, we will overview the later stages of this system up until the Babylonian period. Our starting point of this unit is the days following Sennacherib's campaign to Judah in 701 BCE. It appears that Elamelech's stamp impression system continued to exist after the campaign at the beginning of the 7th century, though on a smaller scale than previously. Aside from the many stamp jars that remained in use, especially at sites that were not destroyed, new Lamelech types were exposed. These were found mainly in the hill country, at sites that were not destroyed, or that were built during the 7th century BCE. They had no counterparts in destruction layers of Lachish and the other sites in the Judean lowland. Thus, while the four-winged emblem was abandoned, the two-wing disc was used also in the 7th century BCE. Another change was with the accompanied legends that seems to have lost their significance, and in a process of several decades, they have been overshadowed by the emblem. The distribution of 400 stamped handles found in archaeological excavations clearly shows the importance of Jerusalem and Ramat Rachel as the main centers of the system, with more than 70% of the total assemblage. The limited distribution of the handles and its concentration at the highland is in a clear analogy to the historical background of the period. This is the same period when Judah was recovering from the Assyrian campaign, and most of the fertile lowland and the trade routes of the Beersheba Valley were out of reach. A modification has been applied to the Lamelech system somewhere in the 7th century when concentric circles were incised beside the existing stamp impression. In fact, most of the known handles bearing no stamp impression but only an incision, thus indicating an independent position of the system mainly based on existing store jars. The point that incisions were cut after the jars were fired testifies that they post-date the stamping of the Lamelech impressions and should be interpreted as later than the Lamelech system. The clear link of the incised jar handles to the Lamelech administrative system and the large amount found in the same centers as the late Lamelech types are evidence that the concentric circles should be interpreted as a new phase of the Judahide administration system, overlapping and possibly replacing the original Lamelech system. Indeed, the 285 jar handles with incisions of concentric circles have thus far been found at the same distribution as the previous late Lamelech system. Thus, the same historical reality is reflected when the administration of Judah reached only the highland. The Judahite administration continued to develop in the 7th century BCE, and a new stage was initiated during its last decades. The jar handles were still marked, but this time the emblem was a rosette. 240 jar handles with rosette stamp impressions have thus far been found at various sites within the borders of Judah. The system probably appeared during the last third of the 7th century and remained in circulation until the destruction of the Judahite kingdom in 586 BCE. For more than 30 handles were found in destruction layer dated to the Babylonian campaign, mostly Jerusalem, Lachish, and other sites. Though most of the handles were found in the highland, one third of the corpus was unearthed in the lowland, at Lachish, Azekah, and other sites. Thus it seems that a change had occurred in Judah, and its system included also these formerly lost territories. One can assume that the major shift 
in Judah's situation resulted from the changing geopolitical conditions of the late 7th century BCE. As you learned with Oded, Assyria withdrew from the Levant. The policies of the 26th Egyptian dynasty in the local arena changed, and Judah was able to expand its control over the territories beyond the highland. The destruction of Jerusalem indeed put an end to the many aspects of life in Judah. But as you have learned in this course, other aspects continued under the Babylonian rule. One of them was the same system based on stamped jar handles. There are 42 handles bearing an inscription, Moza, probably the village of Moza, west of Jerusalem. 30 handles were found in Mitzpah, the seat of Gedalia and the center of the Babylonian province after the destruction of Jerusalem. The date and significance of these stamped impressions have been accorded lengthy discussion in scholarship. Most scholars agree that they should be dated to the Babylonian rule in the 6th century BCE, primarily based on analysis of the evidence from Mitzpah. Thus, the name Moza seems to refer to the crown estate that supplied agricultural products to the governor who resided in Mitzpah. And by that, one can explain why most of the stamped handles were found in the provincial capital. To summarize, the early and the late Lamelech stamp impressions are the earliest types of the system based on store jars, followed by incised concentric circles and then rosette stamp impressions. The continuity in the manufacturing of the royal store jars and the use of the royal emblem stamped on their handles both indicates that the different stamps are all part of the same system that probably had a constant function for about 140 years. Furthermore, the same administrative system continued after the destruction of Jerusalem in 586 BC during the Babylonian rule. As you will learn in the following units, the system lasted for a much longer time, for an additional 400 years, as long as Judah was under imperial rule. Thus, the assumption is that the stamped jar handles were part of the Judahite administration. It was established when Judah became an Assyrian vassal kingdom and continued to be in use as long as Judah was a vassal kingdom and later a province. The aim of the system was to collect wine and oil from royal estates in order to enable the kingdom and later the province to finance its activities and to pay its taxes to the empire.